Music and life to the full. X Rhythms. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are today with the wonderful Rebecca Fitch. How are you doing, Rebecca? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Now, let's start at the beginning. When did you decide to go into music and start writing? I think for me, it wasn't really one moment that I decided to do it. It was more of a gradual process, I think. So I think it was a slow process of just, you know, doing it more and more and going to uni to to study music and finding bands who were in the local scene, just doing it for themselves. As I got more involved in that, I just kind of kept going. And the more I saw of the music industry and the more I learned, I just decided to to keep pursuing it. I decided, (laughs) well, you know, maybe I'll take a gap year because I didn't take one after school and try and figure out the whole artist thing and take it a bit more seriously and see what happens. And I'm now um, in my fourth year of gap year. So I just kind of kept going. Um, But yeah, I mean, it takes ages to get anywhere. So I think if you stay motivated and you stay loving what you do, then it's a decision every day to just keep going, you know? Awesome. When when was it that you started to re- that you started to realise, oh, this stuff I'm doing on this gap year <laughs> is actually is actually gaining traction, is actually starting to move forward. Oh, see, I feel like I'm at the stage when it's not getting traction yet. I think because you're so close to it all the time. Like I'm working on this every day, and every day you don't really see change each day. It's only when you look back at the past six months to a year that you really see how far you've come I don't know it's very slow because you know and it's also not linear that's the thing you know you might put out a single and it gets a really great response and you're feeling so encouraged that people resonate with it that they're enjoying it and you think okay okay there's some traction here this is great I'm feeling very encouraged and then the next one doesn't have the same impact maybe I guess I remember being in the car Uh, It was probably after I released my first single and hearing it on the radio and I didn't know they were going to play it. It was just on BBC Introducing. Um, And I was by myself and I was like, I'm the one to share this moment with. (laughs) That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was the first time I remember spontaneously hearing it on the radio. Okay, so you've you've started writing. When did the imagery side start to come forward? Was that something you think you started with? Like doing music at uni or was that something that you've developed on on this journey your use of imagery and your lyrical content mm, imagery and the lyrics do you mean yeah mm, that's always been something that i've found really fascinating mm-hmm. and i think even in school you know i loved english because i loved the imagery that you can use and read into it and it just gives it so much more depth and so many more layers and that was always something that I really find so intriguing one of my first singles is called Afraid of the Light and I remember learning about um, I think it was the play Tennessee Williams play Glass Menagerie that's what we did in A Level or something like that (laughs) and it was all about you know being afraid of the light because that's what exposes the things that we don't want to be seen and that whole concept was so fascinating that actually the phrase we normally talk about is being afraid of the dark because it's uncertain but actually there's a lot of comfort in the dark because things aren't always exposed and you can hide things from other people and it's a lot more secretive and more personal it's not as open and honest and brutal um so yeah right from the start i loved using imagery to really emphasize what i wanted to say yeah that is really cool thanks (laughs) we can see the underside where nothing really fits together or makes sense and it's really stressful but but god can see the the full perspective from above and how everything fits together and this image just sat with me for years 